In this video, I'm going to show you how to use StatKey and the ISSI applets to do your statistical analysis for the islands project. So imagine that your data looks like this, where you have one column that are your difference scores. So this will be your pre minus your post and a second column which corresponds to condition. So you have a treatment condition and a control condition. So imagine that you have it in a Google uh, spreadsheet like this or that you have it in Microsoft Excel. The first thing you need to do is download it as a CSV. So I'm going to click download the CSV or comma separated uh, variables. And I need to put it into this format in order to read it into stat key. So to get stat key, what I'm going to do is I'll just Google stat key and it should be your first hit, this stat key lock five. And then you need to determine what kind of data you have. Well, I have a categorical variable and a quantitative variable. So I'm going to be using stat key for descriptive statistics. So I'll be under descriptive statistics and graphs. And I'll be choosing the one quantitative and one categorical variable. I click through there. And then what I'm going to do is click upload file. And I'm going to find that CSV file that I just downloaded and click open. I'm going to select the difference variable first because that's my quantitative variable. Then I will select the condition, which is the categorical, and click OK. Now I have a, a dot plot being shown here, a histogram, and a box plot. And then over here in this table, I have some summary statistics. Now the first three rows of summary statistics, sample size, mean, and standard deviation, are going to be important for me doing the analysis. So next thing I will do is I'll open a new tab, type ISI applets, click the ISI applets and data, and you're going to want this theory-based inference one right here. So for scenario, you're looking at a difference in means or a two sample t-test, so you're going to click two means. And you see right here that we can add the sample size the means and the sample standard deviations. So if we come back to our descriptive statistics, we'll see that the sample size for uh, the treatment was four, for the condition it was eight. So we can do four and eight. And then we'll enter the means, which are 0 0.046 and negative 0 0.012. So 0 0.048, negative 0 0.012. And then we will enter the sample standard deviations, which are 0 0.04 and 0 0.106. 0 0.106. We'll click Compute. We'll have our statistic of interest shown down here. And then in order to do a test of significance, we'll click this test of significance. You'll need to set up the alternative hypothesis to how you want it. Let's say you wanted to do it is not equal to one, then you would click this to this not equal to sign. And then you're going to click calculate. And here is your T statistic and your P value. If you want the confidence interval, you will click this down here and that will give you your confidence interval. So that is the case where you have a difference in means or where you have your difference variable with two conditions you were considering. Now, if we wanted to consider the condition where maybe you had uh, a categorical variable and you were just looking at whether or not there was a change from pre to post, in that situation, um, your sample statistic is going to be your sample proportion, which is going to be the proportion of ones in your data. Now, we can come back to the theory-based inference applet and click one proportion. Here, what we're going to need to do is tell it what it's our sample size is. So our sample size in this data here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we have five ones. So it's going to be seven with a count of five. We're going to click calculate. Here's our sample statistic. Here is a visualization of our data, this, uh, this bar chart. And here is our null and our alternative hypothesis. So let's say that we wanted to test that it was not equal to 0.5. Well, here's our p-value down here, and here is our z-statistic. You can ignore the continuity correction piece, 
And then you'll also need to select the confidence interval if you have not already. A similar thing can be done for a, the case where you've just got uh, a difference in means from pre to post so that you have paired data. And we'll actually be doing this today in class, but if you go back here and you've got data that look like this, okay, so you've just got one condition and you've just got all of these variables. In this situation, I believe you can just copy and paste this data directly into StatKey by going to one quantitative variable under Descriptive Statistics and Graphs, click Edit Data, and I believe this will work. You should deselect first column as identifier, and there's our data. And you get your dot plot, your histogram, and your box plot. And just like before, if I want to do a theory-based inference, I need to know the sample size, the mean, and the standard deviation. So if I come back here, and I set it from one proportion to one mean, I click the sample size, and here it was 12. I come over here, I see my mean is 0 0.0075. And I see that my sample standard deviation was negative 0.092. I think I said negative there. It's not negative, it's just 0 0.092. Click Calculate. And then here, again, by default, it would look like this when you start it the first time. You'll click Test of Significance. You'll change your alternatives and your nulls to whatever they're supposed to be. Supposed to be. Click Calculate. And there's your t-statistic, your p-value, and you can obtain your confidence intervals this way. I hope that this helps you do your analysis. And if you have any other questions, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out and ask. Thank you.